Hello guys, it is me again, and um, I'm doing a post-gathering vlog because yesterday I finally attended a gathering in a long time, because it's been a while since I've gone to a cosplay gathering, and it was nice to attend one and meet new people and see friends and stuff, and um, yep, it was the Sacramento Central Valley Gathering and it's the last one they're having for the year. However, there is the NorCal Gathering, which is coming up next month, and I found out I was able to go, so I'm super excited for that, and I'm going to have Mink fixed up for next month, and I'm really excited. Speaking of Mink, um, a couple days ago, there was the AGF, which is, um, the Ana Animate, or something like that, am I right? I don't remember what the A stands for, but it's a girls festival, and they show off, like, by shonen figures and merchandise for, like, anime that girls are into and stuff, and, um, Good Smile Company was announcing some figures, and they announced some, like, Victor and Yuri from Yuri on Ice, which is an amazing show, by the way, and I'm in love with it, um, and they announced a couple other figures, and I was just kind of thinking, you know, okay, since they're announcing figures, do you think they'll announce Mink? And it's like, I thought maybe it's possible, but I'm like, I don't know if they're still considering Dramatical Murder figures, because, like, Dramatical Murder hasn't really been, I don't know, a thing lately. Like, they're not doing, like, current, like, Dramatical Murder stuff, and, like, I thought Clear was going to be the last one, because, like, he did come out a couple months ago. So I know it could have been possible, possible, but I thought since all these new shows are coming out that are, like, geared towards girls, and I thought they're going to focus on all that, like Yuri on Ice and, you know, Bungo Stray Dogs and stuff like that, I thought, oh, they're not going to have time to do Mink because they're going to have all these other figures. But later on that night, I saw um, one of my friends actually kind of shared something with me on Facebook, and it was... An announcement for a mink nendoroid and I just lost it right there I was so happy and just so excited oh my god I was like all these emotions just overcame me when I found out and I was just so thankful and so happy but I wasn't expecting to see a fully painted mink figure already like I thought that was just like a new announcement and I thought Okay, so they'll probably have him, like, up in a couple months or something. But later, I saw pictures of a fully painted Mink Nendoroid. And, um, I was just even more shocked that not only did they announce him, but they have him fully painted and almost ready to go. And I was just beyond satisfied and excited to see him painted. He looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. The only little thing that bugs me is that his top feather isn't in the middle. It's kind of on the side. And from the official pictures I've seen of him, isn't it in the middle? Because, like, there's one of his sprites where the feather looks like it's definitely in the middle. But maybe they'll fix that because I think it's just a prototype right now. And once they have the complete figure up on the site for sale, I think that they'll probably fix it, or maybe, um, it'll look like it's supposed to be like that in the final figure, but other than that, he looks superb, he looks amazing, and I'm so excited to have him, to add him to my collection, and to complete my boys, to complete my DMMD boys, I'm so happy, um, I'm wondering if they'll make Ren, if not, I'm, I don't know, I mean, I think they should make Ren at least because he does have his own route and he does have a human form and people want to see that in the size of an android. So I'm kind of hoping they do Ren as well. But I'm just so glad they the, um, they have the main four now that they completed that four. So I'm so happy and I'm just, I'm so glad that they didn't leave him out. Okay, enough about Mink because this is a, um, post vlog, but I, I had to announce that, and I had to mention that, because if you remember in my clear opening vid, I did mention Mink, and I was saying how I was hoping he was going to get a figure well. He is now, so, yeah. 
just thought I'd mention that. Anyways, um, so, yeah, gathering was yesterday. Um, I went at 707 from Mystic Messenger, which is a really, really fun app. And if you're into talking with pretty anime boys, then I suggest you go play it because it's fun. Um, it plays in real time, so when you play it, you can't play the whole thing, like, just like that, unless you're willing to spend hourglasses to continue it. Because, like, you use hourglasses as the currency in the game, and you can use them to purchase the deep story, which is 707 and Jumins are out. Because there's the casual story, which is Yusung, Jaehee, and Zen. Um, you can also use hourglasses to per um, participate in conversations you missed. Um, you can also, like I said, use them to continue in the game if you don't want to wait. Um, and you have, you can also use them to purchase the max speed option, which used to have a free trial, but that ended, so now you have to buy it. Um, you can also use them to purchase extra save slots, and if you save a game, if you load it in a different time, like if you load it like hours later, you'll have to pay to load it. But if you load it, like, right after, you only have to pay a little bit. Um, hourglasses you can earn by um, trading 100 hearts for an hourglass. And um, the hearts you can earn from the characters if you respond with good responses, you know. And the hearts go towards their affection, and that's how you determine what route you get. So, yeah, I'm not going to explain everything. You can just go look up Mystic Messenger and find out all the other stuff. Um, because I need to talk about other stuff in this video. So, if you want me to do a video on Mystic Messenger, just comment and request one if you want. Like, message me, comment. If you want me to do a video on Mystic Messenger, I'm more than welcome to. Um, however, I'm on Zen's route right now, and I've only played Yusung's, so I don't know all the spoilery stuff. Plus, I'm not going to spoil it anyways, even if I have played the whole thing. But... Yeah, if you want to, go play it. If you already do play it, that's great. Um, so yeah, I went S7 yesterday, the one with the red hair. Um, and there were other Mystic Messenger cosplayers there that I met, and we all did like a group photo shoot together, and it was a lot of fun. And um, it was just a really great gathering, and it was so nice to see other Mystic Messenger cosplayers, and I'm glad I went S7. I was going to do Main Mink at first, but... Um, I kind of didn't want to wear main mink because I thought it was going to be colder. And it was cold in the morning, but then it warmed up. But there were no other Dramatical Murder cosplayers, so I'm like, okay, I'm glad I went to 7. Because if I had gone as mink, I would have been sad because there were no other DMMD cosplayers. But we got a group shoot for Mystic Messenger, and it was a lot of fun, and it was spectacular. And, um, yeah, the gathering overall was a lot of fun, and I loved seeing friends, like I said. There was also a raffle that, um, was going towards a friend of mine, and a friend of every, like, everyone at the gathering, I think, is friends with him. At least most of them know who he is. Um, but a friend of ours is going through some rough times, like, due to health issues and stuff, and, um, so they wanted to fundraise towards him. Because he could really use it right now. And I'm glad that they did that. Because he does need support and stuff. Um, so I donated like five bucks for the raffle. Which got me like six tickets. And then when they did the raffle, it's like, okay. And like, I wasn't really expecting to win anything. And I was okay with that. Because I at least got to support a good friend who's a good person. So I was happy about that. But... Apparently, my luck was, like, off the charts yesterday because, like, I won at least twice, maybe three times. Um, I did give some stuff I won to other people because it was stuff I wasn't really interested in. So I'm like, does anyone else want this? You're more than welcome to take it. So I was happy that I was able to make someone else's day by giving them something I won that I didn't care for. Because I'm nice like that. But, um, but yeah, I did win some stuff I do like. Um... Let's see. Couple things are these Chobits figures. Um, this one's Yuzuki. And this one, of course, is Chi. 
So I, I thought they were really cute. And um, I watched a few episodes of Chobits way back in like 2008, 2009. And, um, I saw the figures and I was like, oh, those are really cute. Um, and I was kind of shocked to win them, but happy. And now I'm probably going to go watch Chobits again. Sorry, she keeps wanting to fall off of her stand. Um, and I also got a, um, cup of candy. There's wrappers that I've eaten from, but yeah, there's just candy in this cup. Because, you know, Halloween just passed. So... Yeah, they were handing out a cup of candy to the winners and stuff. I gave my other ones away. And I also won the first volume of Haruhi, which surprisingly I don't have until now. I think I mentioned this in a previous, like, Sack Anime vid, how I didn't have any um, of the manga or something, but now I finally have this. And I also won the Love Hina novel. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because... Um, I haven't really watched or read Love Hina, so, like, I don't know. I mean, it looks like a good series, but I'm not sure if I want to keep this or not. Um, I do love Ken's other series, Negima, though. But I'm not really, um, fond of Love Hina, and I don't really have much intentions to get into the series. So I might sell this or give it to a friend who wants it. So, yeah, I'll hold on to it for now, though. I also won a Haruhi pillowcase, but I have it put away. Um, don't know if I'll show it. I could show it. Um, I'll be right back. So this is the pillowcase that I won. It's not really body pillow sized or like regular pillow sized. Well, I guess it's regular pillow sized. I don't know. Um, but that's the pillowcase I won. And yeah, it's Haruhi, Mikuru, and Yuki in swimsuits. I'm probably going to keep it since I am a Haruhi fan still. Um, and it just reminded me of like when I first did Haruhi. I might cosplay her again at some point because now I have Haruhi here again. So I've thought about it. So I might do like a casual version of her or something, but we will see. Anyways, yeah, I thought that this was cute. So I'm prob I might, like, put it up on my wall or something, because I don't really have a pillow to put it in, or put in it. But yeah, I'll probably just hang it up or something. So, yep. I thought that was cute. So, I was amazed at my luck yesterday. Um, so yeah, that was all of the stuff that I won. I did win a few other things, but like I said, I gave them to other people. Like, a figure from a show I don't really watch. I kind of do plan on watching it, but I was willing to give it up because, yeah, and there was another book I won, but I wasn't really interested in it, so I'm like, okay, you can have this if you want it. So, yeah, um, besides that, though, the gathering was fun, and, yeah, I, I do love these figures. They're, they're adorable. Anyway, so that's about it for yesterday's gathering. Um... It was fun, though. There was, like, a little bit of serious stuff going on, but that was taken care of. Um, because, like, a couple, like, one person was, there was a person at that gathering who's known to be, like, kind of creepy and not well-liked in the community. And, I mean, it's obvious as to why. So, um, the people who run the gathering, they said they'll look into it. And if they have the reasons to, like the solid reasons to, they will ban him from the gathering. So that's a good thing. And they said they'll keep an eye on him and other people will keep an eye on him. So I do kind of hope he no longer shows to them because he's, I don't know, I've heard stories and stuff. And I've seen how he acts and stuff and I do hope they kick him out. Anyways, but... Other than that, the gathering was great and fun. And I'm really excited for the NorCal one because I haven't been to a NorCal gathering in, I want to say two years, I think. Because I don't, I know I didn't go to any of the ones this year. And last year, I can't remember if I did. Um, I think the last one I went to was winter 2014 when I was clear. I mean, I think that might have been the last one I went to. I could be wrong, but my memory 
serves otherwise, so I'm, I don't know if I did go to last year's. Anyway, um, so it'll be really nice to go to one again. So yeah, um, that is all. Sorry, my computer screen went dark. Um, anyway, so that's all I am have to say, basically. Um, so I hope all of you are enjoying your day and stuff. And yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't know what else to say right now. Um, so yeah. Bye everyone. I will see you in my next video. I actually have a vlog I made weeks ago that I haven't posted yet, but I will get that up shortly. It might be out of date, but I still want to get it up. So, yeah.